wow. So that is our problem right there. Is Holy crap. I just noticed this. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel, Make Money Trucking. So here we have my 2011 Freightliner Coronado. And uh, I've noticed an exhaust leak on the truck. Uh, basically, there's a bunch of soot buildup back here. So I took the heat shields off of the manifolds, the exhaust manifold right there, right there, and then um, this guy right here. And there's a lot of soot buildup right here um, on the turbine housing. So I think that our turbo is the culprit. Um, so we are going to be replacing the turbo on this truck. And uh, I've already gotten the heat shields off, uh, disconnected the air box that's just loosey on here. So uh, to go off this pipe over here, it's right there. That's for a different reason. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna replace the turbo today. Tomorrow I might take you know a couple of days to get it done. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna remove this air box and then kind of look around, see what we're working with, see what other stuff you know what to do. Unbolt this clamp here and this clamp here, and there's uh, a few coolant lines that we'll have to undo, uh, drain the coolant as well. So get a pan underneath here and drain the coolant. All right, so this is the part. Um, these are the parts that take the longest amount of time, but uh, don't feel like you get a whole lot accomplished. So we got um, mostly everything off the turbo. Um, got the um, outlet that goes to CAC. Um, we also got this V-band off to get this uh, fitting on top off. I don't know if that's coolant or oil. We got the oil drain off. And then uh, we took this guy off, the E-jar flap, so we can access the bolts. If you can see right there, there's one bolt right there and there's one underneath. And then there's a bolt right there on the top. And luckily for me, um, the only bolt or nut I've broke is this one right here. Other than that, it looks really rusty, but everything else is coming off. Um, uh, so after we get the there's one more bolt um, on the top side on the bottom there that holds the turbo onto the exhaust manifold we will get that um, taken off and then um, there's a there's a mounting point right here that goes into the side of the block we'll unbolt this and we should be able to take the turbo out and then go about taking everything off this turbo, putting it on the new turbo, and then putting the new turbo on. All right, so we got the turbo out. Um, there's just one coolant line, oil feed line, and oil return line. So there's only three. Um, we've done, I've done a lot of Detroit 60s, and I think there's like three or four coolant lines. So it's nice to see there's only one coolant line on the DD15. And that's what it looks like. And I think we found the problem. So you see all this black soot all over. Well, I thought it was definitely an exhaust manifold, and I looked at the manifold, it all checked out. If you look over here, well, come across, come over to here, and wow. So that is our problem right there, is that big old uh, turbine housing is cracked, the exhaust housing. <laughs> so that is where our high-pitched wheel was coming from, and that is also where our exhaust leak was coming from. So, yeah, it's a turbo, you know, it spins freely. It seemed to be working fine. But, yeah, that is definitely uh, the source of our problem there. I'm shocked and very happy that it was a turbo and not the exhaust manifold because I'm having a hard time tracking one of those down. But it is kind of amazing that this is the problem or this cracked and it didn't man it didn't uh, crack the housing. So that, that's very good news. Um, I'm sorry, I didn't crack the exhaust manifold, just cracked the housing with the turbo. If we look inside there, we can see maybe, uh, I don't got a light, but yeah, you can see the crack on the inside. Well, oh, there's a crack right here too. 
So this thing just in a crack right here. I mean, this thing just took a beating. It's like, it's almost like someone took a, took like an ice pick and just rammed it in there and hit in a bunch of different spots. Um, I'm very thankful it's not the exhaust manifold. The turbo is a pretty uh, pain in the butt job, but uh, it's not that bad. Um, like I said, there, here's your coolant port. So on the new one, we'll swap this out. We might get a new one of these before I put the new one on there. And then uh, there's your oil drain right there. And then, oh my gosh, look at this. Holy crap. I just noticed this. Oh my gosh. Holy crap, man. This turbo just freaking... Oh my gosh. This is... I was very lucky because this thing was literally not far away from coming apart and could have destroyed my motor i mean holy crap wow 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 this is insane look how close this thing was to coming apart and uh everything's still intact luckily holy crap guys that is a uh, wow i am just i'm speechless um <laughs> This is insane, the amount of damage. And truck ran just fine, uh, just when the turbo was going to boost, it made a little bit of a whistle. And uh, that's all, that's it. And it didn't even whistle that bad under like low acceleration. It was only when I was, you know, fully loaded, um, pulling like a hill that it made this noise. So, wow, I am extremely lucky. I cannot believe how big of a bullet I just dodged. Um, Cause like this thing was getting ready to come apart and i mean yeah the, the center the inside seems to be solid right but uh like th this spins but if this were to collapse uh it's very hard to imagine that the inside wouldn't fall apart and then shoot this turbine into the i mean it's very possible that could have you know went right into well I mean it definitely could have took that out and definitely took one of the CAC and and, and went right into the intake I mean it, it would have destroyed some stuff but yeah that is crazy that turbo is that far close to me coming apart all right so here we have the new turbo and uh, we pulled the oil old old oil feed line out of the old turbo and we're going to put that in right here and but first we got it pretty well cleaned off but i'm going to clean it off some more take a wire wheel to this side and then put new sealant on it and then as far as the coolant side it's pretty awesome uh that you put a coolant um you know connector on there already so just throw some sealant on those threads and then we should be able to connect the uh line up there with no problems you know it's kind of pretty shocked you know given that you know the dd15 so given that the dd15 is supposed to be you know a newer motor than the detroit 60 i'm kind of shocked that this turbo is actually um dare i say a little bit easier to get to and work with as far as like the coolant lines and the oil feed line um it's not too awful bad uh this can be a little tight and hard to get to i can already tell that right now uh, because this stupid v-band clamp and where they put it they literally put it right in the way so i don't really want to replace that or take that off so i'm gonna see if i can get around it but it's gonna be hard to get a wrench in there once i get this guy secured down in there um like so i'm gonna need to be able to tighten the connect um the oil you know feed line onto the top there and you know it's going to leave a lot or very little room to fit a wrench in there to tighten the top of that on but we'll see how it goes all right so we got the new turbo put back on uh got some new clamps uh because when you take the old clamps off they usually break uh got everything kind of put back together for the most part um there's two bolts there and then two bolts on the bottom that secure the turbo to the side of the block. And then we got these four. There's one there. 
and then one right there and then two on the back those are a pain i uh, got the oil feed line which that thing is hard to get back on and then the oil drain as well as the coolant line back here to put some uh teflon uh, sealant on there just so it doesn't leak and then uh next all we have to do is uh put some of the heat shielding back on like this one right here and i just took these off because i was checking the uh exhaust manifold to see if we had any leaks or cracks which you guys saw the turbo uh that crazy situation so yeah uh exhaust manifold is good there's no exhaust leaks or big black soot marks coming out of any of the these bellows pipes or connection pipes i did get an extra manifold just in case in the future and then uh but yeah so we'll uh put all heat shields back on button up the rest of this plumbing here and there the elbow and uh then we'll be ready to fire it up after that all right so it's a little dark but uh show you guys real quick we got everything got everything buttoned back up um sorry about it's dark uh, it just got dark on us but yeah so all the piping's back in all the plumbing uh egr all the heat shielding everything's back on all the oil drains oil feeds all that good stuff uh air intake is back on intake piping so we got everything buttoned up uh, hopefully the turbo is internal lubricated or it'll get oil there fast enough because i don't know what fuse we can pull to make it to where it just uh cranks it doesn't start i already tried pulling two but the computer's too smart it won't even let me try to crank the truck so we will just start it and hope for the best Alright guys, so I want to make a really quick video. So as far as the turbo replacement goes, everything went as planned with that and that was a success. But unfortunately, you know, I put in the tag famous last words, how it's talking about thankfully it was just a turbo and not the exhaust manifold. So that's where I'm going to end this video at. The next video will, uh, will be the unfortunate reality of what actually was all damaged, which a uh, little teaser here, kept talking about an exhaust manifold. When I put the turbo back on, I still heard some exhaust noise, some squealing. So that leads me to believe that uh, the exhaust manifold has some cracks in it. So, but as far as um, how to replace the turbo, that was a success. Now the next video coming up in the next couple days is gonna be doing the exhaust manifolds, unfortunately. So now I gotta redo all the work I just did. But as always, thanks, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.